Fuck the Claters, yeah, yeah. The Clive Styles not going anywhere. Lunchbox. Hi, everybody. It's me, the Lunchbox. As you can see, I'm wearing a wig because I decided to compromise. Believe it or not, I'm capable of compromising. Today, we will learn whether or not Robin is. Although, I don't think breaking up with your side chick is really a compromise so much as a must to, you know, make sure that our marriage continues, but, um, I don't know, it seems that a lot of people who watch my videos seem to think that he's right most of the time. The people who side with me, um, I appreciate you so much, but a lot of you do tend to be lunchable, so maybe you're biased, you know, in my favor, you just like me more as a person, but I feel like a lot of people who don't know either of us tend to, or who don't really care for either of us, always seem to side with him, and I don't really get it. Like, I, I, I understand that he's ruggedly handsome. I mean, he's incredibly intelligent, smart, and just funny. I said smart twice. I just, oh God, in the D. The D, oh man, ladies are not fucking around when they say, why don't you leave him? The dick, the dick, bomb. two bomb, bomb. I'm sorry, uh, that's a bit private, but it is, woo! Anyway, um, today I just wanted to talk about how today is the day that Robin breaks up with Ingrid. Um, maybe that's weird to make a video about that, but I have been having my doubts lately. Will he actually break up with her? And for a while I was thinking no. Yesterday was kind of the nail in the coffin for me where I was like, wow, this man is not leaving this woman. But he did come by late last night at around 2 to 3 a.m. And we had a nice time. I gave him his birthday gift, a um, Kylie Minogue um, record. He really loves Kylie Minogue. But anyway, besides the point, um, we had a great time and we talked a lot. And he basically said he wants what's best for me and what's best for Drexel and I will be able to see Drexel soon. I almost feel bad um, for her a little bit because she doesn't see it coming at all and it's it's probably gonna be rough on her. But I mean, at least her finals are over. That's, that's a plus, you know, she can drink her sorrows away and be happy that she's done with the tests. I don't know. It's not really my problem. I'm not the one who put her in this position. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just feeling pretty optimistic. Um, I, I do think the way we got here is fucked up. I do think he's been treating me kind of shitty, but last night he apologized for that. And like, I don't know, like we just really talked about everything and, and he just kept saying like, no matter what happens, you know, I do care for you. And, and like, you know, like we've been through so much together and like, you know, like I don't want you to have like any bad feelings about, you know, the Ingrid situation. Yeah, it was, it was a nice time and I, I, I am excited for today. He's gonna come over um, after he breaks up with her and we're just gonna have a normal night of him moving back in. Uh, he never took all of his stuff. He just took like a, a box or two at the most. I'm not sure if I wanna go with him. I feel like that might just be a bit too much drama, but he might need help with the box. I don't know, it, it's a lot. Um, I'm thinking of doing a live stream later. I don't know, maybe we, we might get some champagne to celebrate, I don't know. And I tend to do live streams and I've been drinking a bit and it's a lot of fun. And we are moving forward in our relationship. That is what this video is about. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives and I fucking can't wait. And and to all you Claters who said he was done with me and to the people, even the ones who, you know, who got my back, who said like, oh, he's gonna play you. He's not giving that cat back. Like today I get to see my son and I get to just have a great fucking day. And I'm just like, I appreciate, you know, the people who are trying to look out for me, but guys, I told you, you don't need to worry about me. Like Lil Lunchbox has this shit on lock. I have my man and my cat and all my shit like together. You know what I mean? Like it's been rough and it's been rocky, but like at the end of the day, I always win. I don't want to sound cocky and shit, but that's just been like how my life has gone. I always tend to get what I want. I mean, we had a rough patch. It happens in marriages, you know, but till death do us part. We're married. People keep calling me the side chick, bitch. He married me. He's been dating that thought for like five months tops or something. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. She's out of the picture. We're good. 
I just feel good. I feel really fucking good. I'm just really fucking excited. Like when he gets off work, it's about to be, we're gonna get <laughs> Okay, um, that's about it. I'm just, sorry, I'm being kind of corny and lame, but I'm just, I'm so excited. I don't know, I just, I just can't wait. Like when I said our family was getting back together, I just feel like that wasn't really us getting back together. You know, now that he's leaving her, it's a done deal. Now we're gonna be a family again, and I fucking can't wait. Anyway, I'll see you guys later if I decide to do a live stream. I don't know, whatever. Um, is it fucked up that I'm celebrating that he's breaking up with her? Again, it's not my problem. Like, I didn't do this. I have a right to celebrate my man coming home. Am I right? I think I'm right. Whatever, have a great day. Don't let the platers get you down. Um, I love you so much. All of you who support me, clown oppression is real and we are gonna fucking stop it. It's ending. I may compromise with this wig. You know, sometimes we have to, we as clowns, we gotta make compromises to make our marriages work. That's part of clown oppression. But fuck it, you know, I got my man, I got my makeup, I got my shit together. <laughs> okay, have a great day again. I just. I don't know, I just, I feel so overwhelmed, but like in a good way, you know? And I just feel this positive energy radiating out of, radiating out of my clothes. <sighs> Things are looking up. I love you guys so much. Bye.